previously in Bragging Rights Battle of BOTB Veterans. Usually found on the package of retail items, what do you call the series of parallel lines that can be read by an LB? What is barcode? Barcode is correct. In history, in 1989, what was the site in Beijing where People Liberation Army topping? Tiananmen Square. Where the People's Liberation Army cracked down on student protesters calling for political liberation and great respect for human rights led to the killing of an unknown number of protesters. Um, that site is Tiananmen Square in Beijing. That's correct. Today's bragging rights is conferred to Albi. Congratulations, Albi. Thank you. Hello, fellow quizzers, fellow quiz enthusiasts. Welcome to Bragging Rights, Battle of BOTV Veterans. Lingui here from City of Tanaw and Batangas. For those who are new to the show, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated with the game. And might as well share this video to your friends who love trivia and quizzing. This is the fourth episode featuring Battle of the Rain Season 8 Grand Finalist Christopher Toping Lopez of Muntinlupa and Season 5 Quarter Finalist Percival Per Stevie Bidora of Tagig. Who will win today's match? Let's watch. Uh, per Stevie versus Toping. This will be a classic match. The same as the other games, two rounds, uh, 10 questions each. Correct answers to the first round are worth three points. And correct answers in the second round are four points. Let's start with the first round. Percy, could, could you please try your buzzer? It's working, I see. Uh, Topping, please try your buzzer. It's working. Let's start with our first question in arts and literature. Particularly music. Which pop icon rose to fame in 2008 with her songs I Kissed a Girl and Hot Egg Topping? Lady Gaga? That's incorrect. First. Jessica Simpson? That's Katy incorrect. Perry. The correct answer. Ah, oh. I'm sure that our viewers are pretty familiar with this. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Second question. Hands on buzzer. History. Christopher Columbus, the explorer responsible for the discovery of America in, 19, in 1492, was of which nationality? First. Um, Italian. Oh, that's correct. Christopher Columbus is Italian. Three points for first. Third question is in science. Big sack, math, but don't worry, no calculations required. I'll just read the question. What is the mathematical study of continuous change divided into two major branches, namely differential and integral? First, calculus. Calculus is correct. Question number four in trivia and general information. Was this ready? Which mental disorder is characterized by periods of depression and <laughs> topping? It's opinion. Oh, that's incorrect. I'll continue. Which mental disorder is characterized by periods of depression and periods of abnormal elevated mood that each last from days to week? Again, which mental disorder first? Bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder or manic depression is correct. Oh. Fifth question is in trivia and general information. In which athletic event did Bruce Jenner now first Decathlon now known as Caitlyn Jenner excel in 1970s winning the gold in 1976 correct answer is Decathlon sixth question is in arts and literature what do you call a tower 
with several stories, each of which has its own topping. Ziggurat. Ziggurat is incorrect. What do you call it? Tower, several different stories, each of which has its own roof, are common in Eastern Asia, originally served to religious purposes as memorials. First, Pagoda. As memorials or shrines. Pagoda is correct. Next question is in history. What was the name given to the Chinese communities in Manila during the Spanish time? Stopping. Pinoy? Uh, no, that's incorrect. That's not the answer we're looking for. What was the name given to the Chinese communities in Manila during the Spanish first? Sangli. Sangli is incorrect. The correct answer is Parian. Hey, it's Parian. Parian. Uh, 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 yes, Philippine history. Uh, in science. Located in the skin, which gland secretes an oily substance that first? Sebaceous gland. Sec secretes an oily substance that lubricates the skin and hair. And the plug results into pimples. Sebaceous gland is correct. In trivia and general information. Buzzers ready. What Korean cuisine literally translates to three-layer topping? Korean cuisine, ano ba? Uh, topoki? That's incorrect. What Korean cuisine literally translates to three-layer flesh in English? Referring to the layers of lean meat and fat in the pork belly that appear when cut. First, Bulgogi. That's incorrect. Correct answer. I know that you are both quite familiar with this. Samgyupsal. Samgyupsal. <laughs> Three-layer flesh. Hey. Last question is in trivia and general information. What term in the Old Testament refers to a non-Jew, meaning a person? Oh. First, <laughs> Gentile. Gentile is correct. So uh, that concludes the first round. After first round, Percival has 21. Christopher still has yet to score, but we still have fresh 10 questions in the second round. So you still have a lot of chance to catch up, especially that we have four questions, four points each for every correct answer. Let's start second round. Ready with your buzzers. First question is in arts and literature. Which novel written in Filipino by female writer Luwalhati Bautista First, Bata Bata Paano Ka Ginawa Written by Luwalhati Bautista released in 1988 tells the life of Leia a women's rights activist who struggled to raise her children as a single mother while working a demanding job at a women's uh, crisis center. Bata Bata Paano Ka Ginawa is correct. Next question is in history. Which state did U.S. acquire through a purchase, also known as Seward's Folly, topping? California. That's incorrect. Which state first? Alaska. Which state did U.S. acquire through a purchase, also known as Seward's Folly? The correct answer is Alaska. They bought Alaska from Russia or from the Soviet Union. Next question is in science. What physical law explains that no two things can occupy the same space first? Impenetrability theory. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Yes. What physical law explains no two things can occupy the same space? The answer is impenetrability or law of impenetrability. That is correct. Next question 
is in trivia and general information. Windhoek or Windhoek is capital and largest first. South Africa. That is incorrect. Windhoek or Windhoek is the capital's largest city of which country? You're in the right track. Topping. Uh, Kenya. You're also in the right track, but the country that we're looking for is Namibia. Namibia, yeah. Namibia. Yeah. Windhoek. Windhoek. Nakalawang. Windhoek. In trivia and general information, what do you call the soft felt hat with a medium brim and lengthwise crease first? Fedora. With a lengthwise crease in the crown, often worn by detectives in detective movies. That is, that is called Fedora. Correct. Next question is in arts and literature. Question number six. Which long-running medical drama on TV stars Ellen Topping? Medical drama? Uh, Grey's Anatomy? Grey's Anatomy is correct. Medical drama on TV which stars Ellen Pompeo. Grey's Anatomy is correct. In history, what were the three wars between ancient Carthage and Rome told? First, the Punic Wars. Punic Wars is correct. Eighth question is in science. QR code is a type of two-dimensional matrix topping. Maybe some being QR. Uh... Time's up. <laughs> yes, let me continue the question. QR code is a type of two dimensional matrix barcode invented in 1994 by Japanese company Denso Wave for labeling automobile parts and has been instrumental in the practice of touchless transactions during the COVID 19 pandemic. What does QR stand for? So, what um, does QR stand for first? Qualitative record. The to be precise, QR stands for quick response, quick response code or QR code. Quick response, okay. Quick response. In trivia, and question number nine, in trivia and in general information, in video games, Sonic the Hedgehog was developed for which video game company? First. Sega. Sega is correct. Last question is in trivia and general information. Name the American musician who was the co founder, lead vocalist, guitarist, and primary songwriter of the rock band Nirvana. Topping. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain is correct. You got that right. And that concludes the second round. After two rounds, uh, Percival has 45 points, Christopher has 80 points. So today's bragging rights is conferred to First TV. Congratulations. Don't worry, Topeng. You still have more games to play and we look forward to seeing you on those games. Thank you very much for um, watching uh, Bragging Rights. Please don't forget to uh, follow, subscribe, and share. That concludes today's match of Bragging Rights. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Yo. <laughs>